Hey everybody, it's Paul. Welcome again to my kitchen. Today I want to share with you one of my all-time favorite recipes. Goes for the kids too. When I make it, it sure doesn't last long. It's a good, real easy apple crisp recipe. You can't beat it. You can't lose making this one. Let's jump right into it. So guys, what I've done here is I have peeled, just with the potato peeler, three pounds of apples. That's one big bag. I'm using galas. You can use any kind you want. But what we want to do is just slice them up to like little bite-sized chunks. So this is about the size I'm going for. Something like that. Just to give you an example. You know, something along those lines. So that's going to take some time. We'll get that done and we'll be right back. Okay, so we've got three pounds of apples kind of sliced up here. To that we're going to add three tablespoons of butter. Just like that. Now I want to add two teaspoons of apple pie spice. Now it's not a big deal if you don't, and it comes in a little thing like that. But if you don't have the apple pie spice, just use cinnamon. It's just as good. These are half teaspoons to fit in there, so i got to do four of them. Alright. And into this, we also want to add about a one and a third cups of sugar, something like that. No need to be exact. There's one. Whoa. A little lump there. We'll use it. Alrighty. No need to be perfect about it. Now we are going to just give this a bit of a stir here. And the point is you just you want the sugar coating onto the apple with the cinnamon and all that for flavor. And we're going to, this be a good time to preheat your oven to about 350. And we're going to just uh, eventually put this in there for about 30 minutes. It's not like we're actually baking any raw eggs or anything. So. In fact, you can sample it. And it's yummy. So now, we just want to add our mixture into a... <laughs> Go more than anything into a 13 by 9 like so and try not to spill as much as I do all right so here I've melted two sticks of butter and I want to add to that one cup of brown sugar and I'm packing it into the cup Okay, so we got two sticks of butter and a cup of brown sugar going so far. This is what we're going to mix some flour into and make our topping. Now to this, I want to add two teaspoons of cinnamon. And to finish it off, we need two cups of flour. Alright. And it doesn't have to be exact. That's about two cups right there. Ooh. I always end up wearing half of it. And this is just going to turn out to be somewhat kind of like a clumpity mixture. That's looking about right. Still a little bit too uh, too pasty like. I'm going to add just a hair bit more of flour. So that would be probably two and a, two and a quarter cups. 
You don't want it just like one big glob. There we go. Now let's get a little bit more where it'll break apart. Of course you can make one half as big, but it doesn't last very long in our house, so that's why you go for making a big size. That's what we're after right there. Alright, so now what we want to do is just set that over there. There we go. That's my dog making noise. Oh, come on. <laughs> Alright, here's what we want to do is just start drizzling the clumps on there. No special way to do it. Just want to get it covered up. It's kind of fun part. Get your hands dirty. But you there again, it's nothing raw in there, so you can sample. That's good. And I tell you what, when this bakes out, it is hard not to eat it all. And it's looking good. Alright, so what we'll do is put this in for about 30 minutes, 350, and it will be done. Alright guys, well there's the finished product. Super easy, nothing to it. Hope you'll try this one. Let me know how it turns out. It's Surefire Can't Miss. I know you'll enjoy it. So until next time, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you.